welcome to Moki Box Craft. I'm Deborah, and today we are dehydrating food. Well, we're going to try to dehydrate food because I've got one of these food dehydrator from Lakeland. So Andy got me this for Christmas, and I have been dying to try it out. Look at all those happy little foods. What a lovely selection of things we can try. Great for preserving and storing seasonal fruit and veg to use for your marmalades, jams and salads. And dried fruits to use in home baking. Well that's me sold. So hopefully this will help when growing produce in the garden and give me a different way of preserving things without having to pickle. So this is how the dehydrator looks and hopefully by the end of this I'll be able to tell you if it works, if it's any good and if you too need a dehydrator in your life. So what do the instructions say? Blah 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 blah. Let's get to the important parts. How long things take and what temperatures you use them on. It comes with a guide of temperatures and timing for fruit and for vegetables. I think I'm going to try bananas first because that's what I've got in the fruit bowl. Oh. Guess in the comments below, how long do you think it's going to take to dry a slice of banana? Is your answer locked in? 8 to 38 hours. That's a really long time, isn't it? Okay, I don't make the rules. I just try to follow the instructions. Apparently all I've got to do is peel and cut into five millimeter thick slices. For that, this part lifts up. I'm going to give all this a wash before I start using it. Let's go peel some bananas. Right, there we go. So the bananas have now been in here 14 hours. I've just popped the timer on for another 12 hours at 58 degrees. This is how they're looking. Still quite flexible. Got a little bit of a crunch to them, but that's definitely going to take a bit longer. But they do taste good. It's now been 25 hours since I started these bananas. Now that whirling you can hear is this machine. They're still a bit squidgy. So I'm going to leave them in there a little bit longer, maybe another 12 hours and I'll check them again. Well, it's been over 40 hours because I kind of forgot about them. It's been switched off now for a few hours, so they're completely cool. As you can see, I might have eaten a few testers. Oh yes, do you hear that snap? I've got a wee Tupperware dish to put them in. They do slightly stick to the rack, but they're not too bad to get off. They do pop off reasonably easily. I don't know if I really need airtight containers because I'm going to eat these pretty fast. I mean, these are really super sweet. So much sweeter than the ones you buy in shops. Really impressed actually. What shall we try next? This is how the strawberries are looking after 22 hours. So strawberries were on for 12 hours at 58 degrees and then I put them on for 10 hours at 48 degrees. So they look quite dry. They're not completely dry, they're a little bit... Well, they still flake pretty well, but they don't like snap. I think this piece was a little bit thicker. See, it's got a little bit of give in it. I kind of want them to be a little bit chewy. Yeah, that one's quite chewy, that's perfect. These pieces would be brilliant in cakes and muffins and things. If I was doing these again, I think I'm going to try cutting them in half and do them for less time. Now let's try tomatoes. I'm going to do some of the tomatoes in quarters and some of them in halves, just so I can compare the difference. That is going to be quite chunky. I mean, it's just a test batch. Let's just go with it. We've got tomato halves and tomato quarters. We've got a notch here and a notch here. Now normally, You'd match these up so they go down lower, so the space in between these is smaller. So because the tomatoes are quite chunky, I'm going to pop them like that, so there's going to be a bit more space for the tomatoes this time. Tomatoes are in and very spaced out because we don't have many. Tomato, oil, peel skin segment. We've not done any of that, we've just cut. So temperature 58 and 8 to 24 hours. Leathery. Okay, and we shall start at 12 hours. It's been 20 hours since we put tomatoes in, and this is how the quarters look. 
The quarters of tomatoes have dried up really nicely and they taste really nice and sun blushy. These taste so good. Next time I do them, I'll maybe do them for slightly less time and maybe add a little bit of basil and oil and then I think they'll be delicious. So these are the tomato halves. I'm gonna stick these on for another 12 hours and see how they're doing. But yeah, they're definitely taking a good lot longer to dry. But they could be really good too. So the tomato halves took ages, but they did taste delicious. Unfortunately, I've lost the footage. <laughs> so here we are a few months later. It's the end of summer and I've been busy trying recipes or dehydrating different types of food all summer. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys my favorite way to dehydrate tomatoes. It's now the end of the tomato season, so I picked these out in my greenhouse and this is a great way to use up all the extra tomatoes. Just pick off all the stems. Some of these are not the nicest tomatoes, but they have been washed, so they should be fine. Cut your tomato in half and then quarters. I'm also going to remove this little bit of stem here. You're also going to need some kitchen roll. You might only need one bit, I need a second bit because I really want a seed save from these tomatoes. So I'm going to try and pick out a few seeds from a few of these tomatoes. So these are moneymaker tomatoes. I honestly believe you will never get a better taste than tomato unless you grow it yourself. One of my favourite varieties is a sun gold tomato. It's a tiny little cherry tomato, super sweet, really delicious and also works really well with this method. Although you don't need to put it in the dehydrator for quite so long. So I'm going to give these a rinse, dry them off and hopefully grow tomatoes from them next year. So all we're going to do now is place our tomato quarters onto the piece of kitchen roll. So now I'm just going to sprinkle them with salt and basil. And then a tiny drizzle of olive oil. This can be a little bit messy. Well, it's going not too badly actually. Now I'm going to load them into the dehydrator tray. You're going to want to place them so they're not touching. Try and leave a little bit of space between the tomatoes. So the air can circulate. And clear that up a little bit. I'm now going to place this into the dehydrator at 58 degrees for 12 hours and then turn it down to 48 degrees for another 8 to 12 hours. It just depends on how pliable you like your tomatoes. The oil does stop them from going too dry, so it's really just keep an eye on them and take them out when you think they look right. These are some tomatoes I did earlier. <laughs> I feel like some sort of Blue Peter presenter. <laughs> that I am not. That's how the tomatoes are looking though. They are delicious. They're just so good. Pop these all in here. So they're all together. Whoop. To store these tomatoes, I've got a sterilised mason jar. The ones with the rubber seal, is that what they're called? Anyway, it's sterilised. So just gonna pop the tomatoes into the jar without trying to eat them all. Mmm, yum. And I'm just gonna top it up with some olive oil. Yum, how good does that look? Just gonna close up the lid. Oh, it's so yum looking. Because it is. Obviously, these are great to eat by themselves in stir fries, in salads. I even used the oil and the tomatoes as a base to fry up some onions, mushrooms and garlic to use as a base as a bolognese sauce the other night. Delicious. Oh, just yum. This should also last like this quite a few weeks. If you can manage not to eat them all before that time, there's no way this jar is going to last two weeks restrain myself from eating them all so Andy at least gets to try them. The verdict on the dehydrator, 100% recommend. This is so much easier than using an oven and trying to keep the door open using a cork. I've tried to dehydrate tomatoes before or sun blush tomatoes or whatever you want to call them last year. Oh, it was a nightmare. I ended up using chicken wire to try and put my tomatoes on because they kept falling through the grill things in the oven. I had to hold the door open with a cork. I mean, this is just not good safety, is it? Dehydrator fixed all that though. I'm quite pleased. It's a bit more controlled as well and you can get a lot lower temperatures. I think my oven only goes to 70 or 80, which is still quite high. So this is a much better solution, much more practical. It's a great way to add shelf life to perishable goods. 
Very impressed and very delicious results. I think my favourite so far has to be the bananas and the tomatoes, especially with seasoning. Don't bother trying apples. They taste like fluff. Oh, hello. What are you after, dude? Oh, tomatoes are not for doggies. Highly recommend this dehydrator. And as always, if I find a link to it, I shall pop that in the description box below for you guys to check out. If you're thinking about using a dehydrator or have you already got one, have you got any favorite recipes? If you do, pop them in the comments below. I would love to hear your suggestions. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Of course, subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go to make a total mess, that's what I'm gonna do. Have you shiggle? No, it's not snack time yet. But your snack time isn't for another half an hour. I know, I know. It's a tough old life being a papa, isn't it? You're putting the cuteness on so I give you a treat sooner. But how will you learn? How will you learn? If I give in to you all the time, like Papa Bear. Oh, I know, Papa Bear would give you treats three hours ago. Wouldn't he? Yes. Right. Right, Chico, is that us done? Does that mean treat time? To a tiny bit early. Do you want a biscuit? Oh, would you love a biscuit? Oh, I bet your brother's going to want a biscuit as well now. Oh. <laughs> Shall we all have a biscuit? Come on then. A biscuit? Oh, gently, gently, gently. Gently. Yeah, of course not. Good boys. Doesn't sound elegant and graceful, but eh, they're happy. Was that a good biscuit? Oh, yes, it was a good biscuit, I'm sure.